Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Hey, what's up, everyone? You find yourselves trying to get your Craig Mac on and put some brand new flavor in your ear? Well, funny you should mention that because we have a brand new show that you should check out. It is called Pod Sauce. It is your podcast discovery show. Everyone's always looking for a podcast recommendation. We got lots of them for you, from true crime to pop culture. And you can join us each week as we dish on all of our favorite podcasts out there. So make sure you download the Odyssey app and search Pod Sauce or head on over to podsauce.com. We got you covered, guys. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Nine point nine K I S W the Rock of Seattle. You know you need a funny video right now, okay? I think we all need a funny video right now. Okay, all right. So go to the BJ Meeks page of KISW dot com if you can't. All right, we got some funny audio for you. Uh, it's a, a random little thing that this kid said to her grandfather, uh, a two year old girl. She was on her grandpa's lap, getting her ballet slippers tied, when she blurted out, "Hey, daddy's." He has a penis. <laughs> We're boys, aren't we? Yeah. Now. Daddy has a penis. Now, you, now let's see. You he what? He has a penis. He has a penis. I know. That's okay. He has a penis. Let's say you do a twirl. <laughs> He's like, stop talking yeah. about your father's penis. Yeah. Now, is that, is that grandpa uh, the, the, on the mom's side or the dad's side? Ooh, I, that's a good question. You know? I, I, I don't know the story. I don't have that info. I guess that's something that yeah. nobody, nobody bothered to ask. Because I'm thinking if it's grandpa on the mom's side, probably 100% doesn't want to hear about that. No, Even though really, I know it's just a silly little thing. Yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to hear about anything about the guy's penis involved with your daughter. You just don't. This is such a cute video because there's this little girl. She's in her pink tutu and pink ballerina outfit. She's got the ballet shoes on. Grandpa's tying the shoe. It's like a really sweet yeah. Grandpa, granddaughter moment only made sweeter by <laughs> what she said. I feel like this easily could happen in the Miggs household. Oh, oh no. She would say dong. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. We don't, we don't use terms like penis yeah. in our house. Oh, wouldn't that be funny if she goes, Daddy has a dong. Yeah. That's the first like the, the first phrases that uh, you know are heard by all of the relatives. Oh, boy. I'm yeah. so screwed. You're in big trouble. I, when I was, uh, I don't know, Lily was probably about one. It was right before she started like fully making sentences. And we used to shower. I would bring her in the shower with me so she could shower and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And the time that I knew it was time for her to stop showering with dad was when one day she just started like staring and Uh-oh. then started barking. And I was like, I don't know what this means, but we're not going to, you're going to shower with mom from now yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Who yeah. let the dogs out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty yeah. much. I have no idea. I like yeah. that. I'm, I'm very sorry, and I apologize. So sorry. <laughs> I, I'm not like that. Uncle Dog is so sorry for this. It's a very odd response, but uh, maybe you should have made that decision maybe a few showers earlier. Probably. Yeah. Dude, that is a fear, though, because, like, you know, I wear, um, I usually just wear, like, pajama pants at home, and they have, the, like, the drawstrings that hang. And and Tatum just loves grabbing anything that's hanging. Like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But those drawstrings sometimes are a little too close to something. And she goes like and squeezes. And if I'm not paying attention, all of a sudden I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, no, that's not the drawstring. <laughs> yeah. Like, please leave, stop. Leave that drawstring alone, child. Dude, go to your mother. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have that kind of drawstring. No, I don't she, worry, she didn't worry have a problem. That. Yeah, it's 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 always that tough age where you go, yeah, I can't, I, I have to really have clothes on 
because you know it's, you walk around the house before kids you get to walk around any way you want to walk around it's just you and the and your partner and then when they're little creatures they don't know anything but right. then you're right then there's that age where you're like Oh, they're paying attention, and all right, this isn't cool anymore. And uh, for me and Joe, it wasn't a big deal because he was the first one. But I remember Kathy was like, "All right," I was like, "Yeah, you might have to start putting some clothes on." I think the kids did, <laughs> and then I had the same thing with Sarah's. Like, "All right, well, this is uh, going to have to start putting some clothes on." That's a thing. That's actually been a little bit of a fear in my head. Not fear, but just like, "Oh crap, man! I only have a couple more years where I I can keep the bathroom door open whenever I have to just go number one." Oh yeah, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, when I go like go use the bathroom with my wife and I it's just like okay I'm just gonna go use the bathroom and I don't even think of closing the door mm-hmm. that's gonna be a weird man that's gonna be a weird adjustment yeah I hope you I hope you can get through it I don't know if I will yeah. it's also weird too because even if you remember to close it then they realize that, or you realize that they can open doors even if like and you're like yeah. oh I forgot to lock it and they yeah. walk in hey dad uh, yeah. no, those like little can you look away please safety knob things the plastic things you put over the knobs have been a lifesaver because I can't tell you how many times I'm sitting there on the toilet and little Prince Miggs my foster brother comes in and then he starts grunting at me because he, <laughs> he's like because whenever he he's on the Prince toilet Migs. exactly oh. when he's on the toilet we grunt so he knows okay this is time for you to you know poo <laughs> And so he comes in and he thinks that's a normal thing to do. It's like, I'm going to start grunting at you because you're on the toilet. Well, exactly. He's trying to help you out. I know, but it's it's a little awkward. Oh, I, I and, and so you guys give him that verbal cue. Yeah, it's and, like and you make did, the face like, mm, come did, on. Did that help him? It did, but since they've moved in with me and the move and everything, he doesn't want to potty train now. So we will sit him there. He won't poo. We'll take him out, put his diaper back on, and poo two seconds after. There it is. I'm just like, thanks. He thanks knows what kid. he wants. Well, if anything, we've learned from this grandpa is that if anything gets awkward or weird, just tell your kid to spin in circles. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that what he did to say? Just twirl around. Yeah, Stop twirl. talking about around. penises. I know. I know. Twirl around, kid. Just do that. <laughs> BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound low, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Have we figured out how to explain deja vu? How do chameleons do that thing they do? Do you really need to wash your blue jeans? Yeah, you do, but how often? Hey, my name's Mike Simpson. I've got a podcast about curiosities. It's called I've Got Questions. We go through my list of random stuff and yours. Please participate. Send me your questions. I'll find someone to answer them. We've talked about our true crime obsession, how grocery stores are tricking us, super secret flight attendant stuff. I've got questions. New episodes Thursdays on Odyssey or wherever you get your podcasts. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well, Steve, fried chicken has been the most popular fast food option during the pandemic. Look at that. I like fried chicken. Man. I, that, comfort food. I could see that. That surprises me because I think of fast food. There's so many options you could get. And I would, I mean, look, fried chicken's great. I'm really surprised it's number one, but fried chicken's kicking tail. So KFC must have seen a little bit of an uptick. KFC actually won the most states. They said, okay, what's the popular food, fast food in your states? And out of 14, KFC won 14 states, which is the most states any oh. fast food options won. I want to see, like, is there a, there's a map. Of course, my computer won't allow me. What is it, porn? And my computer won't let me open the link. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Steve. I don't know why. Why your computer would be all virused up. Yeah, right? Yeah. How rude. I don't get it. Uh, church's chicken, which I, we don't have churches around here, do we? Uh, I, there's, I've been to a churches, though, in Vancouver. Yeah. Great. That's, we can't get there right now, but thanks, Rona. Yeah. But it was really good. Yeah. Uh, they won. Uh, they came in second place with 10 states, and we've, considering they're not in all the states. We've got three locations, uh, Des Moines, Federal Way, and Lakewood, so on the south end. They have churches? Really? They have three locations located Des Moines, Federal Way, and Lakewood. How do I uh, not that's know Des Moines, this? Des Moines, some people are going to say. <laughs> yeah. How do we not know this? I am really shocked, especially- well, Now I it's mean, time that you, now, now you wow. know it's time to go get some. Yeah, time to road trip. Gosh darn, I can't believe that they haven't found a way to the north end. I mean, you know, you think they'd be somebody. I, I get nobody goes to the east side because everyone's too fancy, but you figure they go to the north end. Someone's like, hey, what about chicken sandwiches? The Popeyes by my house always has at least a 15 to 20 car wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love well, the that, chicken sandwiches. Well, I would argue that has to be the most popular chicken thing. 
like I got all the restaurants. How, I mean, that, that Popeye's chicken sandwich has to be the most popular. Popeye only got six dates, though. They weren't yeah. even. I think they were fifth place as far as the chicken joints that were like the most popular. I can't open it because my computer's being weird. But if someone can find like what what is the number one one here for Washington? Oh, good there. call. Uh, Raisin Cane's came in third place with nine. I don't even know where Raisin Cane's is, but I want to find out. Yeah. Uh, and Zaxby's got seven states, and oh, I don't Zaxby's. know Zaxby's either. So those are two joints that were very, very popular, but I don't even know them here in Washington State. And obviously churches I didn't even know was in Washington State either, <laughs> but they're here. Shows what you know, man. Well, it's very popular. Maybe there are Raisin Cane's and Zaxby's, but you and I just aren't aware no, of them. Zaxby's is mostly, it looks like, just uh, kind of like in the south. Southeast. Yeah. And, and Texas, it goes as far. Well, and then, it, is yeah. that, I, what, what that state is that? Is that Nevada? That is, I don't know. What do you uh, want from me? I know. Somewhere. I'm so bad. Uh, that's Utah. Oh, that's Utah. So they're, they, they go as far west as Texas in the south. I mean, they're in the south all the way to Texas, and then they got Utah. But they're pretty much in the south from Florida all the way to Texas. So for That's, us, uh, what is it? Zaxby's. Is it churches? No, I'm, I'm, I found a list, but it's not the same one, I think, because this is just like the best fast or fried chicken in all of the U.S. and churches for Washington. And this is just fast or That's for a, chicken. Churches for Washington? Yeah. Wow. So they must be all over like because we oh, got yeah, I'm not thinking about like outside of like, you know, like the yeah. Pacific Northwest area. You know, like the You Seattle. mean Western Washington. Yeah, Western Washington. No. Yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, yes, because thank you. because Izell's also really cuts into a lot of it for some of these chains cuz I mean, people oh, I mean, heck you, yeah. I mean, if there's an Izell's near you, which by the way there is near me, so that's where I'm always going to go. I oh, mean, for sure. The Overlake Azell's is, is, is my joint. Someone says, okay, if she's striking back with that new sandwich. Okay. I'm, I'm willing to try both. I haven't even tried the Popeye sandwich yet. Here's the funny thing, because there's another place that serves chicken that everybody loves, and there was lines, and some places still lines. Chick-fil-A wasn't number one in any state. Well, you know, it's that whole not being open on Sundays thing. It does hurt them. Yeah, maybe you're right about that. Uh, they did. I mean, they did really strong in, in sales, so they had a good year. When it was, you know, it's been a tough year for some fast food places because they can't open. Have they you ever, can only have their drive throughs Have you had the nuggets yet from Chick Fil A? I think when we went there, I did. But that was been, it's been a while. Oh, man. I think you'd remember. I mean, because they're like the greatest <laughs> nuggets. Like, for the longest time, all I ever got at Chick-fil-A was a Chick-fil-A sandwich. And then Ted turned me on to the nuggets. Maybe and I soon, didn't have them. Soon after he turned me on, which was a couple years ago, I remember one family member had catered Chick-fil-A for a birthday party. Oh, great idea. And it was a giant bowl of just the nuggets showed up, in addition to sandwiches as well. And then you get, get they, they have like squeeze bottles of all their sauces. So you oh, just, yeah. I remember my wife looking at it. That's like I think of one of those moments where she realized that I have a massive eating problem. Like if you just put food in front of me, I don't know when to stop. I just don't know. That's like, where, you know, this is how you and I actually, you know, really decided we should work together because we both have that same problem. Right. So I was like, how many of those nuggets have you had? I'm like, I lost count at 15. Yeah. And I've been going <laughs> strong for a while since then. Like, I was trying to keep track. And then I'm like, finally, I was like, I got to stop keeping track. I'm going to be embarrassed by how many I'm eating. But I didn't think anyone was paying attention. But my wife was. And she's like, I, every time you went over to that bowl, you would scoop at least five to ten of them. Yeah. And I would just crush them. And she's like, aren't you full? I'm like, yeah, I guess. I just don't know when to stop eating. It's there in front of me and it's free. Yeah, no, I mean, there. look, <laughs> right? All, all of those things you said, how doesn't a person get that? But, you know, there are people that just don't get pleasure out of eating. Some people have willpower, BJ. Um, <laughs> I will say this. Willpower is part of it, but also we are designed to basically eat everything we can because naturally we're not supposed to have food as readily available as it is. That's not how nature intended it, you right. know. So We're designed to eat as many chicken nuggets as humanly exactly. possible. Exactly. I mean, that's, a, that's why, hey, if you, put a bo- if you put food in front of a dog, right, they're going to keep eating. They won't stop because, again, they're designed to go, we don't know our next, when our next meal is going to come. They don't understand that master's going to provide them. You know, they, their bodily rhythm just says, dude, today might be the only day you eat for a couple days, so get what you can. Yeah, spend a minute in my house when we're feeding Tatum. Lulu is just at, the, at, at her feet at the entire time because she knows at some point this one-year-old is going to drop whatever it is in there that they're trying to eat and Lulu's just having like a buffet. I don't understand a person that doesn't do that. You know, those are the folks and, you know, we, we work with one person that doesn't eat for pleasure. Right. He and, needs to live. And I've, I've known oh. a couple of people like that and they, to me, that is so odd. They find no pleasure in food whatsoever. And, we, of course, it is an entire pleasurable industry. I mean, as well as an artistic industry, what food is. Well, yeah. I mean, you got a little artsy-fartsy for me, but I just like the way things taste. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That's where yeah. the pleasure comes in. But then no, there's, there's an artistry that's creating great 
tasting food, though, is what I'm saying. I mean, you like good tasting food, yeah. but there are people that really have taken it to a level. I mean, I, I was raised in an Italian family, and that was just basically the calling card of every Italian family is that you made good pasta and good sauce. Well, it's funny because like, that's what I look forward to most in the weekend because I know one of the nights we will get takeout. And it's just like, ooh, what, what am I going to indulge in? Because, you know, I mean, we have awesome meals. About the, my, my wife – and I always say that to myself. I'm like, I don't even know why I get excited about takeout. Like the stuff she's making – is as good if not better most of the time. I'm like, I don't need takeout, but it's just something I think I could just get more gluttonous with the takeout. Yeah. You know, it's like all of a sudden I have this giant thing of General Tso's chicken that I could just. Oh, so good. The forbidden fruit. It is. Yeah. It's so good. That's all it is, man. And you know what? Good. I like fried chicken. I, I guess now I've <laughs> got to have some Chick fil A chicken nuggets because yes. I don't have the memory that you have of how amazing they are. So I must not have had them. And somebody, I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard it's amazing. They're saying Chick fil A's mac and cheese, get that as a side instead of french fries, and it rips your face right off. It's so good. Whoa. <laughs> It's a little aggressive there. Yeah, I want to keep my face. (laughs) I don't even know what I got when we went to Chick-fil-A. You probably got just a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Yeah, you're probably probably Waffle fries. I guess I got that. And the waffle fries, which are awesome. Yeah, they're amazing. This is amazing that I – how did we not know about this? BJ, you always go for the shake. That's why. That's what you get excited for. Well, I, that's fully? true. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, look, I'll try a shake that anybody has. I mean, I, he's right. Uh, if you have a shake, I will try it at least right. once. Because I wasn't a fan of their ice cream. I tried the ice cream cone. I can't remember what they call it. They have a different name for it, like – they, 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 it's like the ice cream dream or something. I'm like, no. Yeah, like ice dream or something oh, well, like that because it's dream. not really ice cream. Yeah, yeah, ice cream I don't like. I wasn't a fan of it. Yeah, because that's I don't think that's a Chick-fil-A thing. I, I, I think ice dream is a brand, and I'm not a fan of ice dream if it's the same stuff. So I'm with you on that. And if they make their shakes with that, I don't have a memory of their shakes either. I don't have a memory at all. Let's be honest. There that's you go. true. Yeah. yeah. I think that's really the story of this whole situation. Well, we have to refresh your memory every once in a while and then probably just enjoy and eat them. I have no problem with that. Never had the Chick Fil A breakfast meals, and and people swear by those as well. See, that's the problem. Is is that? Oh man, you know, if I, I have my breakfast joints, it's just like I am never going to IHOP for a burger, even though they're saying, "Look, our burgers are good. You should try them." But I'm never going to an mm-hmm. IHOP for a burger because IHOP's pancakes are amazing. You know, it's just like when I go to Vula's. I love the Chinese pancake, even though I'm told, hey, would you like to try a lunch item? It's like, no, I'm always going to get the Chinese pancake and a hobo. That's just what I'm going to do <laughs> all the time. The Greek hobo or yeah. just the regular hobo? Oh, the Greek hobo. Yeah. yeah. You got to go. I mean, that's, that, that's the problem. <laughs> it's like, why would I get anything else? That's, See, it's, but they go, because everything else is amazing. I love that naked hobo. Oh, well, isn't everything better naked? <laughs> Steve, how would you pitch going to Chick-fil-A for breakfast to your wife? I don't think that would ever work out. No... No, it wouldn't. But when she was pregnant, Chick Fil A was the go to because she loved the, she loves the waffle cut fries that they have. Oh, so every so often she'd be like, I'm kind of craving those waffle. And also she was a big fan of their lemonade. And I don't know what it is. Some people, I don't know if you guys are like this. There's some people out there that are just like obsessed with certain types of ice cubes in their drink. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, they got that cool. They like, got the, the little, little ones. balls. The nuggets. Yeah. The other two. She's trying nuggets. to sell me on one, like getting one of those ice the, the uh-huh. ice machines. She's right. She's right. Like They're good. Four or five hundred dollars. I've looked into it. Five hundred dollars. I'm yeah. like, you really? Whoa. Like, she's right. I was like, so if I get this for you for Christmas, are you going to be happy, or is that like a bad thing? And she's like, oh, we have to wait till Christmas. I'm like, why well, ain't dropping five hundred dollars <laughs> on a machine that makes ice when we have that in our refrigerator? Oh, uh, I love this. Oh, I'll bang on it to make them smaller if you want smaller cubes. I ice cube is just an ice cube to me. Like, there's no well, thing. So you're not a connoisseur. No, I mean, I've had the ball ice cubes. I've had. I like the ones that are like that giant ass ball that they put like in like a whiskey drink. Oh, that's oh, cool. yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's, that's, that's cool. visually cool looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. but I don't notice any difference in taste. Then, and some people just swear by these ball cubes. It's not because like I don't drink it enjoying the ice. I eat the ice. I like oh. chewing on ice. Oh, well, that could be a thing too. But I don't yeah. think she's even chewing on the ice. I think she just oh. likes the way. I, I don't know what it is. Like my pizza has that. They I don't know if it's actually balls, but their ice comes out really tiny. And I feel like it changes the way a drink tastes. Man, I guess I'm not noticing that. It's almost like a like a thicker slushy. Oh, in good call. Sense. All right. So I like you, the bigger cubes because then I feel like in my head it feels like it's going to melt slower, so it's going to be less watered down. Well, that's a good call. That's why you want to get that big ball in, in your whiskey. alcoholic. Yeah, mm-hmm. you definitely want to do that. And mm-hmm. I have a fancy friend, uh, Tom, who 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 he has. His, he's got the molds for that. But I'm like, 
you know, Tom, you're a great entertainer because I would never, ever go to this trouble. You know, it was just us idiots coming over for hot dogs, and he still had everything like that. I would never go to that trouble. So he says, uh, yeah, Taco Time, they have the best ice. Another person, Sonic, sells bags of ice. What? That's because Sonic knows what's up. So you like the uh, the balls? Yeah, like I call them little nuggets. But what about ice cubes? Yeah. I, mean, I like those too. So you can chew on them. <laughs> so yes. now here's you got to figure out, Steve. I, that what I need is, to sort of go fund me so I can buy this ice machine for my wife. Well, or, I got sixty nine cents for you. All right, we're starting Venmo there. Me. I'm Steve Miggs. Well, figure out how much the bag of Sonic <laughs> ice cubes because first of all, Steve, you get to go to Sonic. That's true. And your wife will be happy. You bring and you bring home that bag no. of ice. And uh, how I feel much? like she wants that machine just at her disposal for whenever she wants the ice. Well, that's a lot of money. I feel like if you just For go look. water, that's free. I agree. That's why you give her the bag of, you know, your happy medium is just you're getting something, she's getting something. See if you can sell it. Uh, you know, because I want to go to Sonic, too. I should just get one of those. Like, I bet they have like a cube tray that are little ice, like little balls. Little mini they, balls. They have one that comes like in a weird cup, and you fill out like the inside rim of it, for, and then you just kind of break it once it freezes. Oh, I've seen that, work. and that's the closest that's I've seen. That's a lot of work. You're not going to do that, Steve, and she's not going to want it. And because she's, every time she does that, she's going to look at you and go, you don't love me. Right. You've given me the poor man's version of this. <laughs> right. This is the ice machine at home. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're pretty much in a no-win situation. Oh, so it says taco time ice, the goat, hands down. Ooh, taco time ice. It's been a long time since I've had anything from taco time. I keep forgetting about them. And they're a good joint. How about our buddy Justin Texas? Says he puts Coke in his ice cube trays. That way when it melts, it's still Coke. I, you know, I mm. wondered about that. It's kind of genius. <laughs> I have to say, I wondered about but it. But it's I'll, weird. What if you want ice for like a glass of water? And here's what, for not have, Coke. Right. <laughs> here's what I want to do. I want to do his idea and put it in uh, like a glass of rum. Oh, oh that's a good call. Yeah. yeah. That? On the rocks, but it's Coke. That's yeah. Cool. So slowly See, work some Coke into there. I think this guy's a genius. You know, finally. You lose the carbonation uh, if you make it into ice. I have no idea. I haven't. You have to ask the text. You got to do that for science. I have no clue. Science. Science. Today's podcast is brought to you by bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagne, who's ready to answer your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, is it true that if you file for bankruptcy once, you can't file again? Even if you filed bankruptcy before, you can almost certainly file bankruptcy again. Different types of bankruptcies have different time limits between filings. In Chapter 7, full bankruptcy, you can only file Chapter 7 once every eight years. However, you can always, almost always file a Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 cases can be filed uh, immediately following a Chapter 7. They can be filed immediately following a prior Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 is a reorganization plan, so there will be some type of monthly payment, but it's based on your budget and your ability to afford that payment. So Chapter 13 is an option in almost all cases, uh, even with a prior bankruptcy filing. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only.